Peters was flirting, and you know it. Oh, my gosh. He said something funny, and I laughed. We were being silly. You remember what that's like? Okay, look, I mean it. You stay away from Vickers. He is a liar. He is a thief. He's a woman. Oh, he's ridiculous, the guy. What, what happens if somebody walks in there and takes a photograph of you playing around in the pool? We're in the middle of a campaign. The only thing that will hurt us politically is if one of us is having an affair, and I am not doing that. Why are you still here? Dorian doesn't need a house sitter. Please, go home. My God, you got a body. Shut up. Your good Lord certainly broke him over. She made just you... Just leave, please. Go, go, go. Now, if I could just say one word. Oh, can you just say one no, word? No, just, just, just one word. Because I understand that you don't seem to particularly care for me. And I wish I could change that. Mm -hmm. I really do. So, you know. What? We could just kiss and make up. <laughs> Thanks. So. Oh. David, what in the hell do you think you're doing? Not her. Well, and then your uncle takes that plane out to the police station. Well, is he under arrest? I don't know, but it doesn't seem to make much difference. The commissioner thinks Antonio did it. I can't believe this. I mean, Carrie is dead, and I think Antonio. Oh my God. Antonio didn't do this, Emily. God. Wait a minute, where's RJ? Oh, he was here, but your uncle got him to leave. To tell you the truth, I think Antonio's safer in jail. RJ's gone crazy. Are you gonna go down to the police station? Yeah, yeah, I was waiting for you. All right, well, look, just um, keep your cell on, and if I can close early, I will call you. Okay. Hey. Bye. Bye. See you. Oh, come on, Jessica. What are you doing? Phone off. Everything is going to work out. You'll see. You're willing to give up everything for me? exactly what I told the commissioner. I heard that Carrie was leaving town with, with my daughter, and I went, to the, I went to the hotel to talk to her. You did a lot more than talk. We argued. You are not taking my daughter away from me, and I'll do whatever I have to to stop you. Stop being a coward and just kill me yourself! Get me out of your life forever. Get that out of my face. I am going to love knowing that you are just as unhappy as I am. And I'm going to make sure that you and your little whore are never together. No more fun, Jessica. Hey, could it be that you're leaving something out, Mr. Vega? Pushing Carrie Reynolds off that balcony and listening to her scream as she fell. Aunt Melinda? Yes. How was she? Well, what'd you find out? My sister has a very fragile hold on reality. Did she have a son? She says she remembers giving birth to a baby boy named Paul. All right, well, that means the letter was accurate, at least. Yes, but uh, shortly after his birth, she had a breakdown and... Um, she didn't want anything to do with the baby or its father, so the father 
raised Paul on his own, and Melinda has had nothing to do with either one of them. That's all the information that you got from Aunt Melinda? I mean, I, what happened? I, I, I regret that I went just went barging in and, Why? you know, just blurted the whole thing out to her, because she... What? She went to pieces, and they had to take her away, and um, the next morning they wouldn't allow me to see her. They said that it could take weeks or even months before she came out of the catatonia. Oh, Doreen, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's not like we haven't been through this before. I know, I know, I know. I just wish... What? I don't know. It's just all so convenient. What? I'm just... You know, this newfound brother. Well, this boy's father died. He knew that he had a half-sister, so he, he sent Kelly a letter. A total stranger. Melinda said that there was a boy. He just wanted to contact her. I, mean, I don't see anything weird about that. All right. Do you? <laughs> oh. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Nice shot. You're real sharp. Well, I'm no rack and Ross. Not yet, but you will get there, definitely. In fact, uh, let me give you this brochure. It's a tournament in Vegas next month. Great prize money. You can walk away with thousands. You interested? So you just left? Commissioner, I didn't hurt her. I was angry. I thought I was gonna lose control, so I walked out of there. Any idea what happened after that? No. No, I just... Commissioner, if she jumped... Let's just not change the subject, shall we? Just tell us what happened next. I went to Crossroads and had a couple of drinks. How long did it take you to get there? How long? I don't know. I drove around a while at first. I was kidding. Yeah. Anyone see you leave the hotel? I couldn't tell you. I mean, all I could think about was getting away from Carrie. That's a terrific story. Mr. Vega, a lot of holes in it, but you know what the hell? It, right now, it's your word against not one hell of a lot. There's no indictment here, Commissioner. Yet. Don't leave town. Commissioner, I didn't do it. Yeah. You know, it's weird. Because I feel guilty anyway. Why? Carrie was... was so angry and, and depressed and always, always losing it because of me. You know, today, I won joint custody of Jamie from the court. I heard. Everywhere Carrie turned, she was she was losing. How did she she killed? We don't know that that's what happened, Antonio. Yeah. Yeah, well, if if you can let me know when the Emmy comes up with the cause of death. Sure. Why don't you go get some sleep? Yeah. Thank you. So, did they let you go? How's it going? Look, if there's anything you need, just, just ask. Oh, and by the way, I spoke to that lawyer that helped you out with Jamie. He said he's on top of it.
Hello? Vickers? Yes? What the hell are you doing there? Mitch's brother. You sure seem to pick the strangest times to call. Let me talk to Blair. Oh, I would, but actually, this is, this is kind of embarrassing. Uh, Blair and I were skinny dipping. I'm standing here dripping wet. I came inside to get some towels. Put Blair on the phone. Is that on the phone? The Lord household already has aluminum siding. Good night. Telemarketers. Yeah. Go away! Hello? Yeah, it's me. Vickers just hung up on me. Yeah, that figures. How are you? I'm better now. Why don't you kick that idiot out? <laughs> He's Dorian's guest. Keep your hands to yourself off my liquor and off of Blair. <laughs> You're jealous. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Concentrate on your J-O-B. All right, I want Kelly distracted, not Blair. Oh, then you're going to be very excited to hear that Kelly and I were having a grand old time by the pool until a certain someone showed up. Kevin? He was livid. They were fighting when they left together. Oh, excellent. So, uh, do you think maybe you could see your way to slipping me a little reward? Of course. Fix yourself a drink. I was thinking maybe more along the lines of half a million dollars or a precious stone or two. I'm going over to Aces to check on Kelly. Hey, Dorian. I could really use the money, okay? Join the club. Oh, Stella McKenzie's got three fundraisers scheduled for next week. Looks like the St. Agnes kids are going to get their new furniture after all. You're not still pouting from what I said earlier, are you? For your information, I would never cheat on you. Good. Look, it's just that I am so wrapped up with this whole transition to the governor's staff. I just, you know what, I don't want us to fight, okay? I don't want that either. Good. Then stay away from Vickers. I, I'm perfectly capable of deciding who I spend time with. Sorry, uh, didn't mean to interrupt, but Nigel told me you'd be here. Something wrong? Well, um, yeah, Carrie Reynolds died. She fell from her balcony at the palace. Oh, my God. I'm sorry to hear that. Thanks. See, the thing is, Antonio was there not too long before it happened. But he doesn't have anything to do with it. I mean, he doesn't know what happened. He wasn't there. But the police still suspect him. Well, yeah, they, they questioned him. Then they let him go. For now. Now, what can we do? I don't know, but I was hoping that maybe you could do something. Well, you know what? I'll, I'll put my people in touch, make some phone calls. OK. I'm so sorry, Christian. I mean, your poor mother. Please do give my sympathy to Antonio. I'm going to let you guys talk when I go to bed. Thanks. You know, I really appreciate this, Kevin. No problem. Listen, I'm going to Harrisburg tomorrow to meet with the governor. I'll be back in a day, maybe, I don't know. But while I'm gone, I need you to keep an eye on Kelly for me. Uh, you want me to follow Kelly around? Well, mostly you'll just watch her when she's out in public, but there is one other thing. I want you to make sure that David Vickers doesn't go anywhere near her. You got it? Uh, well, Kevin, you know, with, with what Antonio's going through right now, I don't know if I'm going to have enough time, you know, to be following Kelly around. I understand about your brother, Chris, and I'm going to do everything I can for him. But you accepted this job, all right? You took responsibility for this, and I gave you one hell of a cash advance. So you find the time, OK? You here to destroy evidence? It's already been dusted and photographed. Why are you here? To see you. To talk to you. About what? Hmm? How sorry.
referee you are? That they're gonna find you guilty? Strap you to a gurney and pump some poison into your veins? I did not kill her. Look, boy, you better go tell that lie to somebody else. One more thing. I'm taking custody of my daughter. No one's going to give custody to the man that killed that girl's mother. It's gonna happen, RJ. Oh, no. No. I'm gonna stop it. Look, RJ. I know you're hurting. I wish I could make you understand. Stop! Then stop. Do not act sympathetic for me. You don't do it well. I know you killed my daughter. She was alive when I left her in the room. <laughs> yeah. 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 I bet all your cop friends downtown are doing everything they can to make that fairy tale come true. I was kicked off the force. Remember? Yeah. Because you're a punk that likes to hit on people, but you're done. This time you're going down, Vega. I'm gonna make it my personal mission in life. And as far as Carrie's daughter is concerned, you'll never see her again. Hello. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. I'm on my way home now. Thanks for all your help. I'm leaving. Yeah, don't let me stop him. That was my lawyer. Said since... there's been no formal charges brought up against me, the ruling still stands. What ruling? Joint custody of Jamie. And since... And since Carrie is dead, and I'm now the sole parent. <laughs> the judge says... No! No! I'll see you in hell first, boy. There's no way in hell you are gonna get custody of my granddaughter! Watch the threats. Antonio, you know better. Get out of here. Now. I know this is painful. This is the worst thing that any parent would ever have to go through, but you're gonna have to leave, too. Dorian just left. I think she went to see Kelly. So you and the kids are alone there with Vickers? But don't worry. He's on his way out. He just doesn't know it yet. I had a really great time at the Crossroads. So did I. So what you calling for? I like hearing your voice. It's reason enough, isn't it? Works for me. I'll see you tomorrow at work. Yeah, you can count on it. Oh, I do. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Didn't your mother ever tell you that it was rude to listen in on other people's conversations, David? Not that I recall, but then again, I don't recall my mother. Please. Please leave. Blair, I think you should be careful. About what? Walker Lawrence. I don't trust him. And we waive the entrance fee. Because, like I said, it's invitation only. People with talent. We don't want to waste the audience time. Wow. Live on cable. Yeah, it's great exposure with somebody like you, kid. Yeah, but, you know, I can't do it. I'm going to be right in the middle of planning a wedding. Oh, that's the week you're getting married. Well, not the week I'm getting married, but I've got so much to do. I've got planning this, that. Yeah. Well, you know, you and Chris make a great couple, but, hey, I bet by the time this tournament rolls around, you have all your planning done. <laughs> Mr. Ross, that's funny. Look, we've got one family who's Episcopalian, one family who's Catholic, one who wants traditional, one who wants Latino. I mean, it, it, they're going to be arguing about this while I'm walking down the aisle, okay? It sounds really terrific, but I'm, I'm sorry. I don't think I can do it. Well, why not take this application anyway? 
That way, in case you change your mind, you know, you could send it to me. You, like, fax it to me, and I'll take care of it right away. Okay, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Well, you never know. Well, I better hit the road, kid. Yeah, you gonna go get a date with Roxy? Well, you never know about that, too. <laughs> I'll see you. Hey, Chris, good to see you. Hey, how's it going? Hey, do me a favor. Talk your right to this for me, will you? Well, keep me up to speed, okay? All right, bye. Where's Kelly? Nigel said she was in here with you. Well, she's not, and it's late. Where is she? She was tired. She went up to bed. Tired? She said that? Why is she tired all of a sudden? Because it's late? I think that I'll go upstairs, see if she's still awake, and check on her. What is so important that it can't wait till tomorrow? For your information, I've just come back from California where I saw Kelly's mother. I have information for Kelly about this newfound brother of hers. Well, if it's that important, tell me. I'll pass it on. This is between Kelly and me. Well, it's not like she doesn't want me to know. She tells me everything. I wouldn't be so sure about that. What the hell's that supposed to mean? RJ, you're not going to be able to take any of Carrie's things right now. Everything will be released once we complete this investigation. You mean the cover-up? Look, I know you're upset. Hell, I'm upset, too. Carrie was wonderful. She's a beautiful young woman. But if you want me to find out if she was murdered or not... Yeah, I gave her this. Hell. Make a note that uh, I released a framed photograph at the scene. It's of Ms. Reynolds and her daughter. I released it uh, to her father. Yes, sir. It's just a silly photo. It was a stupid moment. She was happy when I gave it to her. A few hours later, she's dead. And this is all I have left. Take it with you, RJ. Oh. <laughs> You've lost a child. You've got to do your job. Please. Got to make Baker pay for what he did. Where? Uh, you got everything. Uh, Mrs. Gonzalez said that you can keep everything until tomorrow night when her granddaughter comes back. Uh, make sure and thank you, okay? Uh. How could you do something like this? I mean, we all know how troubled she was when she first came back, but she was acting so angry all the time, acting strange, but to jump to her death. Mommy, I haven't... I haven't told you everything. What? Like, the police took me down to headquarters for questioning. No. I, I'm a suspect, Mommy. I, I was there shortly... shortly before she went off the, the balcony. I didn't push her. I know you didn't push her. Carrie was out of her mind. She jumped. They didn't have enough evidence, so they released me. Thank God. Antonio Vega? Yes. I'm delivering your daughter to you. The judge has signed the court order granting you sole custody. Interested. You would do well to be interested. What, in your opinion of a, a man that's wrong for me? You are the epitome of wrong, David, and your opinion is worthless. Blair, I am usually right about these things. Now, women, mm. sometimes I can be a little blinded by beauty, but I'm telling you, Walker Lawrence is not someone you should trust. Okay, fine. Duly noted. Please go. 
wait, 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 wait a minute. First of all, I want to know why you're hanging out with my Aunt Dorian. I don't know, Blair. We just... We have a certain chemistry. Oh, bull larky. You're up to something. You two are up to something, and it has something to do with that diamond, doesn't it? The one that was stolen, maybe? I think you know why Dorian wants me hanging around. <laughs> I don't think so. I think you're blackmailing her. Look, we just have a connection, okay? Mm. Neither one of us even knows why we have this connection, but it's bigger than us. It, I don't know. It, it, uh, we're drawn to each other in ways that just go beyond the rational, all right? Really? The only two people that I could compare us to are you and Todd. No matter how terrible things got, you guys kept coming... Listen to me. You kept getting back together okay. because of that connection. Okay, you listen to me. You are so way beyond the curve because I left Todd. I left him. I'm happy now. Happier than I've ever been in my life because I'm living the life that I want. And Walker Lawrence is a big part of that life. Thank you very much. Happy, huh? Mm-hmm. If you say so. If I say so. I sure do say so. Yeah, well... Yeah. I still say that there's only one man in your universe, and that's Todd Manning. Hello. Star, what are you doing up so late? It went great. Mm hmm. I gotta admit, though, I'm exhausted. Well, I gotta make these lists of things I've been doing for her. Uh, getting her roses. Um, what else am I doing? Oh, yes, I'm, I'm having a woman come over and give her a massage right there in her office. No, I'm not kidding. Well, I'm, uh, I'm changing. Kevin, <laughs> you are not as all-knowing as you think you are. In fact, most men aren't. You know what, forget it. I'm not even going to get into this with you. You just hate the fact that you have to go through me to get to Kelly. I know you. Oh, no, I hate a lot more about you than that. You've tried to ruin the life of every single woman in my family. I have not. Oh, you were married to my daughter, Cassie. You broke her heart. Oh, that is ancient history, That's Dorian. That's easy Come for on. you to say. What about Blair? Is she ancient history? I mean, it's bad enough that you are now married to my niece, Kelly, one of the finest women who was, ever walked the planet, but you have to go chasing after her cousin Blair. Will you keep your voice down? What's wrong with you? There was never anything between me and Blair, and you know it. And as far as Kelly's concerned, how wonderful she is, no one knows that more than me, and I would never do anything to hurt her. And you know that. I am not talking about just hurting her. I'm talking about risking her life. Oh, you know what? Stop all the melodrama, would you? You idiot! If you get her pregnant, she could die. I am sick of you telling people, going around telling everybody things that you know are Kelly. true. Okay, look, I go. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm really sorry. I, well, I'm I lost sorry my too. And guess and what? I... I'm not pregnant. I'll bet you're happy about that, aren't you? Go ahead, go. I, I, you know the I, way. I had to say something drastic, or else I couldn't get Kevin to listen to and me. And he shouldn't listen to you, because everything you've been telling him is a lie. You have meddled in my marriage for the last time. Listen to me for just a moment. I've come back from seeing your mother, and she said, yes, it's true. You do have a brother. His name is Paul, but that's all that Melinda knew about him. I'm sorry. I thought I told you that I wasn't interested at all about that. Now go! Good night. Is what she said true? I mean, could you die if you get pregnant? No. No, that's just Dorian stirring up trouble for us. Are you sure? Absolutely. Coming to bed? No, I, I can't. I've got things to do before I go to Harrisburg tomorrow. I'll miss you. I'll miss you, too. Mr. Flynn, it's me, Arthur. Ah, Rackham. How'd it go? You know, this girl won't bite. Come on! I swear, boss, I tried everything I could think of. All this kid thinks about is getting married. 
Arthur. She would be perfect for what we want. You know, maybe you should get Johnny McBain on this. Mm hmm. You keep saying that. She's young, drop dead gorgeous. She's not gonna listen to a guy like me. You stay there, you stick it out, Arthur. You make it happen. There's too much writing on this. Brother got released, thank God. What a night. Yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, Rack and Ross wants you to do a tournament in Vegas, huh? Yeah, but I mean, come on, I told him no. We're gonna be right in the middle of planning a wedding. I, there's no way that I could just run out there and, and do some sort of contest. Well, yeah, but... But what? This Vegas thing, it's, it's only gonna be a few days, right? Why, do you think that I can do it? I think you should. Plus, you know, with this thing with Carrie, we, we don't know what's gonna be happening with Antonio. So we might have to slow down the wedding a little bit. All right, but you know what? I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to Nevada by myself, so can you get some time off work? If you want me there, I'm there. You want me to stay? Thank you, Mommy. Um, but I think I want to be alone. I can't believe how something so wonderful could come out of something so tragic. You know, you're going to be mother and father to this little one now. Pero tú puedes todo en Cristo que te fortalece. Estoy orando, Antonio. Bendición, mami. Dios te bendiga. A las dos. life for her and Vegas destroyed that he destroyed the only perfect thing in my world he pushed an innocent woman off the balcony RJ <sighs> Ms. Williamson could I speak to you for a second RJ refuses to leave the crime scene this area has to stay secure I'm heading downstairs. I'm gonna check uh, the spot where she landed again. But if RJ's up here when I get back. I understand. Thank you, Commissioner. Man, look, I need you. I, I know that I, I know, I know I was wrong. We're having a hard time, but look, you're the best lawyer I know, okay? Will you help me? Yes, the court, the court gave Vega Jamie. He killed Carrie. I don't think the court... No, listen, 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 listen to me. I cannot lose my grandchild to that man. You have to understand. You have to stop him. I need, I need a restraining order or... or okay, okay. Or, Actually, I stopped by my office earlier and, and I found that this was delivered. It's, um, it's from Carrie. Thank you. 
anything happens to me, sole custody of my child will go to my father, R.J. Gannon. I know that he will provide a safe, stable, loving home for her. R.J. In court, that's, that's as good as gold. One life to live. Did you do it? Did you kill Carrie? Don't you expect me to clean up your mistakes? I might have a scoop for you. You've got my attention. The doc here says it's time. We are ready. Hi, this is Linda Dano, and I love playing Felicia on Another World. I'm so thrilled SoapNet is taking us back to Bay City. Every weekday, turn on SoapNet and return to another world. SoapNet, pure soap 24-7, the new way to watch soaps.